Sheila, where are you going? Sheila. Sheila. Hey, hey, Sheila. Sheila, where are you going to? Come on, come on, let's go. What's wrong? You're asking me what the problem is. You ruined my life. Me. You ruined my life. You ruined my life. Was it you? Oh, I want you. I want you. I want you. I want you. You ruined my life. I will make you pay for every pain you have put me through. I promise you. Where is my phone? I will make sure I get you arrested. Stupid. Hi, excuse me. My name is Lose. I, I know you, right? I'm kind of in a hurry and I need to my mother. Yeah, um, Driver, I'm. Hey, baby girl. How are you doing? So, have you landed? Yep. Okay. Did you back the contract? You bet. And? And what? Why do you even know too much? <sighs> You're like a rotten food that attracts flies. Speed it up, girl. Dang, that hurts. Well, I met this handsome guy. I felt embarrassed. Well, I hope you exchange numbers. No. Um, he did ask though, but I, I was in a hurry. Come on, girl. You're just a miserable soul. When are you ever going to give love a chance? When I meet love. Hold on. Um, mom is calling. I gotta go. Bye. Ladies, I wish to introduce you to Barrister Dozier Ibe. Barrister Dozier Ibe is my son. He just came into this country. And henceforth, I want him to take over all the legal matters of this country. Yes. Uh, I'm honored, actually, to work with all of you. Uh, the pleasure is mine. You've met all, but this is Miss Jacobs. She is our human resource consultant. In fact, we have series of appraisals and contracts she will conclude for us in respect of the new branch we are opening at Asaba, right. Delta State. So walk closely with her and make sure you take the right part. Sure. All right. Hi. 
So this is for the appraisal and recruitment of the new staff for the brand. Review them and get back to me. My email is down below. We can communicate through that means. Wait, I thought we were supposed to review this as a team. Yes, we were. Unfortunately, I have another appointment with another client. So you have to do it alone. Excuse me. Or perhaps you're trying to run away from me. <clears throat> Excuse me. So let me go with this one. Okay. okay. This one. And I want this kiss too. Hmm. All right. Uh, which one? Which one? Which one? Mm -hmm. Oh, mm -hmm. this now. This one looks nice. This is some beauty. I hope it's not nice. Yeah. Right. Okay. Thank you. So, uh, um, come, 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 come. Come. Sarah, 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 Sarah. Who's going? Where's your car? Why? What's going on? Nothing is going on. Let's go. See ya. Hello, Miss Jacobs. You? Are you stalking me? Of course not. I was about to say the same thing, and I should be saying that. I was right here when you and your friend walked in. You met me here. So if anyone is stalking somebody, that's you stalking me. By the way, where's your friend? Um, she's out with some dude. I see. And uh, where is your dude? I'm obviously alone. Even perfect. Uh, my name is Dozier. I know. <laughs> May I sit down? Can I join you? Sure, go on. Thank you. Ah, it's a nice place, isn't it? It's beautiful. What are you drinking? Um, it's <laughs> Excuse me! Can we get water, please? Mm. One water, right? Mm. Oh, let's do that. Let's, 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 do, let's do that. Okay, it's the friendship. Yeah, water, please. Thank you. Yes, it was. Let me, let me drive you home. I couldn't possibly leave my car here, you know? Come to think about it, I could drive you home, drive back here, and then bring your car to you. How about that? Oh, you don't say. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. Anyway, pleasure is mine. Hey, can we hang out some other time? You know, like have dinner again? You know, I, don't I say don't no. Know. I really do not know. 
Okay, lunch, breakfast, brunch, anything in between. Say yes, please. Come on. Okay. Dinner would go. Okay. That's fine. Got to go. Thank you. Okay. All right. I'm very well. So tell me, what move are you seeing today with Mr. Brown? Um, <laughs> actually, I'm going out on a date. Oh my good lord. With who? Wait, wait. The serial killer. Zara. He's not a serial killer. He's actually nice. Wow. My ride or die has finally made love. <laughs> Take a chill pill, girl. It's just a date. Girl, speak love into the air. Um, anyways, have fun. Who's Joe? <laughs> Bye, girl. Love you. Ew, ew, ew. No, no, no. I don't want to hear this. <laughs> okay. You're welcome. Thank you. Ma. Once again. Thank you. You must be very lucky. You know, Sheila has never brought any man home before. No? That's true. Yeah, that's true. I agree. Of course it's true. So, gentlemen, tell me, what are your plans for my daughter? Mom. What? Um, well... I'm very honored that I am the first person 
she's ever brought home. And that should just tell you that she believes that I love her very much for her mm. to bring me home. Uh, I think that's a good start. <laughs> so, what next? <laughs> you are welcome, son. Thank you. I knew your father very well. Oh, interesting. In fact, we've done business together once. He's a very respectable man. Mm. So, I hope you follow his footsteps. Absolutely. Absolutely. He sends his regards, though. So, enough of this. Um, what next? Mom! <laughs> sorry, I was hoping you don't break the plate. Thanks, excuse me. <laughs> it's okay, I'm sorry. What's happening? Nothing. Making <laughs> something for you for Dion. Uh, really? Mm -hmm. uh, chili, tomatoes. <laughs> but I'm craving for something else. You don't say. Yes, I'm sorry. <laughs> hmm? Come on, babe, I need to cook. Wait. What? Hold on. What is it? Come up. <sighs> Please. Six months just gone. Because I'm not ready, okay? It's fine. Okay, you don't have to shout. It's fine. I understand. If you don't want to talk about it, you want to wait, I'll wait. It's okay. What I actually want to understand, what's with you and sex? What's the problem? And why are you so scared? It's supposed to be a good thing, you know? Um, I'm not scared. I, I just had, I just had a terrible experience. I, it's okay, it's all right. You don't have to talk about it. If, if you don't want to talk about it, it's okay. It's okay. I mean, I can wait. I've been here for six months, right? I can wait. Um, excuse me. Yeah. Um, hi. 
I think. Sugar, are you crying? No, no, no. I, I'm fine. How is your hobby? He's fine. Guess what she learned? Tell me. You're acting weird. But anyway. Oh my god. Vicky, are you sure? Yes, I have the results right here. I haven't even told Freddy. It's just too good to be true. Vicky, I am so happy for you. I am so happy for you, really. Something is wrong, sugar. You can talk to me. Um. Vicky, I have finally found love, but I don't think it's going to last because, because I cannot make love to him. I won't even let him touch me. I know I'm not supposed to burden you with my problems, but Vicky, I don't know what to do. I don't know what to do. Come on, Sheila. Why else am I you? Baby girl. Hey. Is that dude I saw at the gates with that machine of a car. Well, Zara, you just missed my boyfriend. And why Ooh. are you in my house this early? I woke up with Joe. He's such a dust bag. Okay, okay, okay. He called it off. I didn't like him anyways. Just the fact it smashes so well. Really? Baby girl, I, I just need a shoulder to cry on. Well, definitely not my shoulders because I got work to do. Mmm. Oh my God. Cardi bed is scattered. You dirty girl. You did it with him, right? <laughs> on the contrary, I was about to arrange my bed. You did! Uh, 
You me. Stop. Okay, you. You're a dirty girl. Can you help me? <laughs> Come on. <laughs> he asked me to marry him. Oh my God. Girl, you're bluffing right now. Don't tell me you're no, serious. No, no, I am not. And guess what? I said yes. Wow. <laughs> Congrats. I'm so happy for you. Thank you. When am I going to meet this Prince Charming now? Like, I can't believe I still haven't met him for over seven months now. Come over for dinner. We're having a dinner this night. Okay. Oh, jeez. Like, I can't wait, Sheila. I can't okay. wait. Okay. <laughs> That's it, girl. Love you. Okay, bye. 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 <laughs> <laughs> oh, babe. Hey, girl. Hi. Uh, meet Zara, my merry-go-round best friend. Yeah. Zara, my fiancé, Dozi. Uh, Hi. Zara, nice to meet you. Let me go get you something to drink. Hi. Babe, come in. I'm surprised to see you here. What are you doing here? She be the one asking me that. Because I'm here to meet my bestest boyfriend and here you are. You really have changed. Well, you, you look great yourself. So you've been back for over a year now and you didn't care to contact me. Sarah, don't even start. It's been eight years, okay? No! You left. You disappeared. I left you a note. You read the note. I know. Yeah, you did, but... Listen. I'm getting married to Sheila in two months. Don't start anything fun, please. No, you're not. I'm, I'm, you're I'm, not. Okay. And this whole thing is becoming to be, it's really becoming funny. I'm beginning to like this little coincidence. Coincidence? What coincidence? What coincidence are you talking about? Look, okay, calm down now. I'm not trying to tell you what to do like last time. You just have to repeat your flat. Did you get that? No. What are you talking about? What are you talking about? Look, you're not the only one that has changed. I have too. Here's my card. For what? What should I do with your card? We really need to catch up. I'm not gonna be here to watch you all laughing now. Excuse me. I'm gonna leave you. Okay, bye. Okay, I'm sorry, I'm late. Babe? Where's Zara? Uh, yeah, she had to leave. She said she's got this urgent meeting or something like that. Yeah, and she said that she tells you she regrets that she has to go. That's so Zara. You good? Yeah, I'm good. Why did we have to meet here at your house? Could we not have met at a public place? Why here? Come on. I mean, it took me one month to bring you here, to convince you to come meet me. And you're here ranting. Anyways, uh, it wouldn't be nice to be seen outside with you. I mean, Sheila doesn't know we know each other yet. No, hold on a second. You've always been that manipulative lady. And I'm not <laughs> interested in all your skirmishes. Tell me what you want to know. Say whatever you have to say so I can get out of here. Please have a sip. And sip some wine. You know, um, I don't understand the level of hatred you feel for me. I mean, it used to be all love and, you know, and now hate. Why do you hate me so much?
Who's it? Who is it? Hey, babe. Hey. Hey, what's the problem? Is everything okay? Listen, Zara, I'm not ready for another drama today. Just tell me what is upsetting you or... Well, those court boys assaulted me again today. Shit. Not again. Yes, are, again. Are you okay though? Do I look okay? I mean, those guys are never going to stop. They have already picked up on me. That's why I keep telling you. Dress properly. Don't walk around on campus half naked. They won't pick on you. Never. I mean, this is the way I know how to dress best. If only you accept to do what I told you to do. What do you ask me to do? I'm not going to do it. I will not do it. You don't expect me to join some occult group just to save your ass. I'm not doing it. Babe, you're not doing it because of me. We need to be respected and protected. I mean, that's the only way. I mean, every big boy in campus has joined. Even Anika's boyfriend, that's catchy. Babe, why are you so stubborn? Why am I stubborn? What power do you want? What do you want to do with the power? Look, my parents raised me as a Christian. And that is what I am. I'm not going to walk around campus vandalizing people's properties. I won't do that. Babe, your parents are not here to protect me. And you don't even dry yourself. You sit right here and watch them more than me right before your eyes when the power is in your hands to stop it. <laughs> Sarah, it's okay. So, I'm sorry, okay? When you talked about solution. Maybe we should tell the school authorities about this. I bet you they don't know about it. They don't know what's happening here on campus. Doesn't know. They'll plan a mother or even before we spell Jack. <laughs> Wait a second. How do you know all these things? How? And he can. Kachi, they talk a lot. I see. I don't know. Well, um, I don't want you to get hurt again, so. Let me consider it. I'm thinking about it. You will? Yeah. I hope that makes you feel better. Yeah, I'm done. Yeah. Let me get some new. Have you been? I've been searching the whole place for you. I've been here. What's the problem? Look, I've been calling you since morning and you've just refused taking my calls. Oh, um, my phone has been on silent all day. Well, I thought it was on silent. Uh, who's calling me? Well, anyways, what have you decided? About what? Oh, oh, that. Last night. Oh, I'm still thinking about it. Those yeah, you can't still be thinking about it. I've already made an appointment for you. You did what? No, you didn't do that. For what? With whom? With Hamza, of course. Look, there's something wrong with you. Does it look, I'm trying to turn you into a man. Don't you understand? I'm not interested. Why are you so stubborn? Are you coming? <sighs> Can you blame me? You took advantage of the love I had for you. Look, Dozzy, I didn't take advantage of the love you have for me. I was trying to grow into a man from the boy he used to be. And of course, courtism was the trend then. Until they asked me to rape an innocent girl and then kill her afterwards. Oh my God, they asked you to kill her? Was that why you left the country? Hold on a second. What do you want? What do you want? Look, I know you don't love me anymore, all right? I know you don't, but I, I still love you and, and I've never stopped loving you. And over the years, I, I've not even lasted in a relationship up to a month. Because I couldn't find anybody like you, does he? Hey, I'm not interested in your love life or whatever you do. It's none of my business. And whatever we had, it was not love. It was toxicity. Okay? Look, does he, can we at least have some closure before, before you say I do? Dude, <laughs> distance is the only closure you need. Okay? 
Sheila and I will get married in a week's time, and my heart belongs to her. Stay away from me. Well, until she finds out who you really are. Really? Do you plan on telling her whatever we shared about what happened some years ago? Well, I will tell her myself before you get to tell her, including today's meeting. Oh, really? If that's only what she knows. Is there anything else? Why not ask her about that night? That night? What about that night? The night she was raped. Baby, you sounded so urgent on the phone. Is something wrong? I need to ask you something terribly important to me. And I want you to be completely honest, with all honesty. Yes? Sure. <laughs> Come on, baby, you're scaring me. Where? Where, where you once raped? Yes. Who told you? Just tell me the truth. Babe, I do not want to talk about. Oh, this. so you were raped? Listen, babe, that is one part of my life I do not want to talk about, and I've been trying so hard to forget it. When were you going to tell me about it? After the wedding? That's so wrong. This is so wrong. Baby, it's unfair. Listen, I'm sorry. It's fine. It's okay if you want to call up the wedding. I understand if you do not want to get married to a rape victim. Yes, yes, it's fine. But I'm sorry, babe. Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. No one said anything about calling off the wedding. I didn't say that. Then why are you acting so tense and wounded? Babe, you're hurting me, please. My mind is messing with me, all right? There is, I guess it's just karma playing with me right now. What do you mean, Kama? I don't understand. Listen. I have not been completely honest with you and myself. I, I did some terrible things in my past. And I don't want to take that secret into our marriage. So I won't tell you about it. Hey, what did you do? Listen, I don't even care what you've done. Trust me, I would let it go. Please, I'm sorry. Um, uh, hey, um, I, 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 Victoria has been waiting for me at the airport. Hi, babe. Yeah, 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 sure. I am coming. Um, I will be with you soon. Just later, okay? Sheila, please. This is important. Please, please. Thank Sheila. You. Sheila. Help me. Home sweet home. Oh, this looks nice. Thank you. Look at my best friend. A broad weather has made your skin glow. Oh. Thank you, Sheila. You look amazing yourself, I girl. I know. <laughs> Are you okay? Yes, I'm fine. Why didn't you go to see them off? My dad insists I stay. If not, my mom will not let me go. Hey, it's okay. okay. You get used to it. Your mom too. I cried myself to sleep to when my parents dropped me off. So, come on. The thing is, this is the first time I'm staying away from home. See, me neither. I've never stayed away from my parents. We'll do it together, okay? Thanks, thanks. Thank you. 
My name is Sheila, studying political science. Pretoria, I'm studying psychology. I think we're in the same faculty. Yes, we oh. should be. Oh That's really nice. Wait, Pretoria, as in South African Pretoria? Well, you may be right. Pretoria is the administrative capital of South Africa. But as a name is of um, Roman origin, Preto, meaning leader. So, I'm a leader. <laughs> <laughs> That's really nice and educating. How old are you? I'm 18, born in May 27th. Nice. I'll be 18 in two months, November 2nd. Oops. Really? Yeah. Sorry about that. It's fine. Thank you. It's so nice to meet you, Sheila. And I like your name. Like, like your name. So, let me go again. Hi, Preto. My name is Sheila. <laughs> Hi, Sheila. <laughs> I think this is better. Thank you. <sighs> oh, God. <sighs> so tired. How do you see the VC speech? I like it. He came with an aura of professional and no-nonsense educationalist, which is a great sense of humor. You're right. I heard he's a stern disciplinarian, which led to his statement about examination of practice and courtism. You know, I really do wonder why some students want to involve themselves in such scoldery. I wonder too. Well, I know that is far from us. I just want to study intensively, pass honorably, and then go do my master's abroad. Me too. God will see us through. Amen. Amen, sis. I don't even know if I should sleep or eat first. I don't know. I'm definitely sleeping first. Doria, hurry up. I'm running late. I know. Calm down. Well, why are you in such a hurry? I thought you don't have lectures until 8. Yeah, I don't. But I need to hurry to the bookshop. I need to get some books. Besides, you have lectures by 8. You need to hurry up too. Okay, I think I'm done. Oops. Just watch. Hold on, please. Oh, thank you. Okay, okay, okay. I'm done. Mm -hmm. Thanks. Ah, okay, let's go. Good? Thank God. Ah. So, the bookshop is that way. I have to go now. Okay. Um, we have a class by 10, right? Yes, Doria. See you soon. Oh, wait. Why in the galaxy do you even call me Toria? Because Toria sounds sexy. <laughs> <laughs> See how he's talking sexy. Pastor's daughter. <laughs> okay, well, Toria, that sounds... Uh... Sexy? <laughs> <laughs> okay, yeah, sexy. Yeah. Uh, so what do I call you in return then? Um... Well, my sister calls me shy. Since you're like a sister to me, you can call me shy. Shy? Yes. Shy. Shy, shy, baby. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> See you, later. you don't say bye, sis. All right. some ambrosia so that you may never be hungry again. Yes, miss. An ambrosia, yes. But a pabulum? No, no, no. 
and you must make it in such a way that it is scrumptious. <laughs> <laughs> that English teacher, literally, like people could barely comprehend his code. <laughs> what a thing! I almost fainted. <laughs> people, some students were literally sleeping in class. My dear, I almost dozed off. Like, remind me to come with an encyclopedia to the next English class. Remind me too, sis. <laughs> about going yes yes I am I promised my mom I'll be home every weekend oh shy you went last weekend and the weekend before and every other weekend since we started school I know but you see my mom is not the kind of woman you disappoint <sighs> it's a pity I got to stay here all weekend alone wait what if you go with me? Nah, don't stress. <clears throat> I don't want to spoil your mommy time. No, no, it's actually not a stress. I mean, my mom wants to see you. She has been waiting to see you. Are you sure? Yes. I mean, I could just stay here and read this boring book. Okay. Okay, fine. Stay Hell no, I'm just tripping. <laughs> I can't stay here all alone. I'm going okay. to pack my bag. Get back in then. <laughs> Eating already. Okay. Mm -hmm. Good morning. Tutorial, how are you? I'm fine. Thank God you're eating already because you look undernourished to me. Honestly. Mom? You're looking so thin. I wanted to tell you yesterday. Have you been eating? Are you stressed? Is something going on with you that I should know? Mom, I am fine. You said the same thing last weekend and I told you I'm fine. Are you sure? Yes. I can tell your dad to let you go to school from home, you know. Again? Oh, come on. Victoria, you're looking so pretty. Thank you, Mom. You're welcome. Um, your friend, Sheila, has said so many wonderful things about you. You're welcome to our home. Thank you, Mrs. Jacobs. I appreciate you having me here. Mm -mm. No. Any Sheila's friend is considered my daughter, especially the one she calls best friend. So, no more Mrs. Jacobs again. Call me mom. Okay. Thank you, mom. More like it. So eat up. Because you look undernourished to me. Yeah. You can take flakes as well, if you like. No, mom, I'm good. I'm you good. sure? Yeah, I'm good. I'm fine. Oh, come on. Mommy, I'm fine. I am making your favorite or her soup. <laughs> because after the breakfast, you're going to do swallow. I need to fatten you up. Okay. So, mom, we'll finish this. Thank okay. You. Sweetheart. Dad, Dad. Good morning, Papa. I'm fine. How do I reach out to you now? Um, <laughs> oh my word, I don't have a father. <laughs> Honey, I'm fine, Dad. I can... You sure? Yeah. Come and have breakfast before you leave. I will skip this. I have a meeting with the workers and elders of the church, and I'm already running late. Oh, you obviously dress. <laughs> No, no. Mm -hmm. I'm used to it. I'm with uh, this beautiful dancer in my house this morning. Oh, Pretoria. Mom? Oh, sorry. Let me do the introduction. Dad, yeah. I'm sorry, but you already asleep last night. This is my friend Pretoria, my best friend and mm -hmm. roommate. Mm -hmm. Pretoria, meet my dad, Pastor Jacob. <laughs> nice to meet you, sir. 
Thank you. You're welcome in my house. I hope you girls start behaving yourselves in school. Yes, sir. That's good. I got to run now and allow you girls to do the girls thing. All right, love. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Okay, see you for your daughter too. Mm -hmm. um, Ma'am, someone you. is trying to steal my husband away from me. <laughs> I don't even know how to buy it. All right, girls. I want to start making the soup. What do you like to take your aha soup with? Pando, oatmeal, which one? Which is my favorite? Oha soup. Thank you. And? Hmm, pando. Thank you. You have it. <laughs> it's up, it's up. Make sure you take the flex. Okay, mom, okay. She's always like that. <laughs> I'm so happy for you. Come here. I'm so happy for you. My best friend is now a shriek. Oh, Sheila, I can't believe you guys said this hair too. I'm not a shrink, I'm Sit a down. therapist. Sit down. Thank you. <laughs> um, so how is mom, dad, and Vicky? Everyone is fine. Vicky just put to bed with bouncing baby boy last week. Oh my god. I know. <laughs> mom and dad will be coming in from Abuja tomorrow. Okay. Mm -hmm. Oh my gosh, Sheila, that's double celebration. I know. <laughs> to see them again sure 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 um so we'll be having a dinner slash reunion with the groomsmen and the bridesmaids tonight oh that's so cool i can't wait to meet him mm -hmm. i can't wait to meet all of them <laughs> i'm so amazed to let me go zara just in time <laughs> hey coming. zara oh. remember pretoria my Hi. best friend the one that used to come to church, unlike you, that barely come to church. <laughs> it's nice to meet you. I've heard awfully so much about you. She love you just shut up. And sometimes I just get jealous, you know. <laughs> <laughs> Sid, why were you even standing? Thank you. What's the plan? The plan? We're having dinner with those friends this evening. And tomorrow we are going dress testing. Uh -huh. I hope there's enough wine. There can never be enough wine when you go around. <laughs> okay, yeah, so let me take you to your room, right? Oh, thank you. Let's go. This way, this way, this way. Right. Cook! You got something for the girls? Well, Sheila, do you remember our GST 101 lecturer? And how he would use big words like ambrosia on our first day? <laughs> of course I remember. I mean, we had to go buy an encyclopedia because some of his words were known in the Oxford Dictionary. <laughs> and I think he did the same thing to us. Really? That man is impossible. What's that his name again? Uh, Mr. Lanray. Adeolu. Oh my yes. <laughs> Babe, I thought you said you went to Benin Republic. How come you're talking about lecturer from Insu? Oh yeah, babe, I did go to Benin Republic, but I first of all went to Insu before going to Benin Republic. <laughs> Seriously? Yes, babe. Really? Like you mean it? Really. <laughs> Excuse me. Babe. Did I say something wrong? You know, he also went to Insu before traveling to London. Oh. Okay. Yeah, but no problem. Let me find out what the problem is. Um, no, no, no. Don't worry. Let me, let me go check up on him. Sure. Call me. you live like that? Is something wrong? Why must I find out things about your past on my own? I thought courtship, this relationship 
was about us revealing things to each other and getting to know ourselves better. Baby, you know everything about me. However, dear, there are some things in my past I would like to remain buried. See. Because they were traumatizing, baby. And you don't think I'm worth it? I don't need to know about those things? No, my love, that is not what I am saying. So what are you saying? I'm sorry. Look, you can ask me anything you want to and I'll answer, babe. Come on, what's wrong? Okay, so, so answer this. When were you at Imsu and why did you leave? 2012 to 2014. Okay, why did you leave? I cannot tell you why I left, babe. You were raped. Is that why you left campus? To the Damn it, Sheila, were you raped? Yes. Yes, yes, I was raped. But I don't want to talk about it, babe, please. No, this is not true. This is not true. What is not true? This cannot be happening. Was the person caught? Did they arrest the person? Who did it, in fact? Was he arrested? Babe, babe, babe. He was not arrested. The police said it could be as a result of some oh, no. cold activity. No, no, or no, 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 you don't know. No. This this is not true. It, listen, I, I, I gotta go. I gotta go. Babe, but we just got here. Babe? Hey, Shai. What's up? You're crying. I don't know. I finally opened up to Dozier, and he's not taking it at all. I mean, he just walked out on me. He's supposed to sympathize with me, right? Hold on. Did you tell him about? No way. Not even Zara knows about that. You know I made the promise to mom not to tell anyone. It's fine. Probably you need to talk to him, okay? I'm sure it's not easy for him. It's not easy for me too, Doria. It's not easy for me. Now more than ever, I need my boyfriend beside me. And now he just walked out on me. I do respect me to feel. It's fine, baby. It's fine. <laughs> Don't worry. You know what? I think we should go home, okay? I'm sure everyone is tired by this time. I'm sure everyone is tired right now, okay? It's okay, baby. It's fine. You know what? Let's go home, okay? I think everyone is tired right now, okay? I'll go and make excuses for you. Stay here. Okay, it's fine. Thank you. I'll be back. Sure. You're stronger than me. Am I? I'm so sorry. You know I love you, right? You're my only auntie. Who is Auntie Zara? Yeah, I don't know. Um, how's the baby? Well, the boy is fine. He's sleeping inside. Okay, yeah, that's true. true, true. Um, let me go make the food. Mom, I'm coming. <laughs> Mom, I'm so worried. Okay, let's go. Come on. All right. Easy, okay? Don't break it. Relax, Natasha. You're not the baby. You're not the baby. Oh, I see. You're a big boy now. Okay, okay. <clears throat> King? Mom. Your mom needs you. Okay. <laughs> We're not done. Right? Yes. I can barely keep up. Vicky did a nice job. Don't you think so? Accurate. I know so. Hmm. Jeez. 
Sheila. What is wrong? Nothing. I'm fine, Mom. Nothing. You think so? How come another went to pick your wedding dress? If they didn't go to pick it, I wouldn't be here to welcome you, right? You're right. Speaking of which, is Dozier not supposed to be here to welcome us as well? He's running late. Probably just running late, Mom. Sheila, what is going on? There's something you're not telling me. What? Speak to mommy. What is it? I told him, Mom. I told him about the red incident. Shy. Shy, baby. Mom is here. Can you hear me? Oh. Shy, baby. Shy, my girl. Mom is here. Mom? Am I, am I dead? God forbid. You are fine. You are so much alive. See. Dad, Vicky, is here to see you. Yes, I'm here. Your dad is fine. Dad? He's okay. Vicky. It's okay. It's all right. It's all right. It's all right. It's all right. It's okay, it's okay, it's okay. I'm here. Stop. I'm here, see. Look at me. Let me get the doctor. Look huh? at me. Mom is here. I'm here. Shall you be fine? Stop crying. You'll be fine. I stop crying. I call the doctor. Doctor! I can't do this. I can't do this. I can't do this. I can't do this. Shai, 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 come down. Mom. She, baby. Please open the door, it's Mom. Leave me alone. Sheila. Sheila, please open the door. Shai, Toria is here to see you, please. I said I do not want to see anyone. Shy, please open the door. Please. Come on, you're only hurting the people that love you. Please. <laughs> Shy. I have not even heard from him all day. Come. Come, baby. It's all right. He did the right thing. I'm sure he was shocked. Obviously processing what he said. But he will come around. Thank <laughs> you. 
you sure? A thousand and one percent. I know he loves you. He will come around. So, you and Dozier, huh? <laughs> Sorry, what are you talking about? Come on, Zara. I know about you and Dozier. You knew. Okay, knew. But how, how? I went to him to remember. The rumors were everywhere. I mean, you guys were a power couple, but so I got to know. Well, that was many years ago, and uh, there's nothing going on between us now. Of course. I promise. I know that, okay? I know you guys have nothing now. But does Sheila know? Do you think she's supposed to know that when it's barely just two days to her wedding? I'm wondering why you haven't told her all this while. Look, I just got to know he's the one just a month ago. So, but are you going to tell her now? To be honest, I don't know. But wait, it's not in my place. Do you still love him? Why are you asking me that? I just want to know. And I don't think that's any of your business. Excuse me? You know what? Stop the car. Stop what car? Stop the car now! Zara! Stop it! Zara, what are you doing? Zara, what's the meaning of this? Come on! Zara! So, the Bible encourages us to do what is right always, and for the kids, tells us for you to obey. Hi, oh Mom. my God! <laughs> Look who we have here. Come on. <laughs> how are you? I'm fine, Look baby. how good you're looking. Hey, baby. You're welcome. I've missed you so much. How's Freddy? <laughs> Well, he's fine. He's outside on a business trip. We've really missed you, Toria. I've missed you too. <laughs> and LA is really treating you very well. Thank you. Honestly, you've changed. Look at little Victoria of yesterday. <laughs> Happy to have you. Thank you, Mom. And you haven't aged a bit. Oh. That's a secret, <laughs> Mom. So why don't we try it? A therapy section? And I might do the aging telling you my secret, I mean, my anti-aging routine, because <laughs> this man, he has been giving me eggs. Oh my God. <laughs> <laughs> I to do my job. <laughs> Pastor Jacob, oh nice to meet you, sir. Yes, so good to meet you too, my daughter. How about your parents? Oh, they're fine. They are in Germany to see my brother. And they sent their regards. Oh. oh, that's good. That's lovely. May the peace of the Lord be with them. Amen. Oh, and look who we have here. If it's not King, you've grown so much. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> That's King. <laughs> King, this is my best friend, Petoria. I don't remember her. Mm. Oh, <laughs> I'm not sure you will. Mm -hmm. <laughs> It's been a long time. Yeah. So, where's the newest member of the family? Oh. oh. He's sleeping inside. <laughs> I can't wait to see him. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Where's Zara? Oh, Zara dropped off on the way. Mm -hmm. Why? 
Uh, uh, she had an emergency. Oh, she's. So, what's happening? Nothing. We just tried to hear the word of the Lord. Yeah. Okay, I'm here. I want to hear. <laughs> Why, Sheila? Why, Sheila? You said the victim would be a prostitute. Look, Why? Dozy, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. You're sorry? You're sorry? You ruined my life eight years ago and you ruined the whole thing again. Dozy, you hurt me. You knew who she was and you deliberately picked her. Why? Dozy. Why, Sarah? You strangle me to death. You won't get to know the truth. Stop me. You're hurting me. <coughs> <coughs> It's fine, Shai. You promised. Sorry, I'm pregnant. How? How is it possible? I'm pregnant, Sorry, I'm pregnant. Sorry, I'm pregnant. Did you know, Sheila? You can't just say that. I heard their voices in my room. Miss my period. Mom put me in pregnancy test tube. And I'm pregnant. I'm pregnant, oh God. My future is ruined. My future is ruined. My life is ruined. Tell me what do I do? Where do I start from? What do I do? My life is ruined. I cannot live like this. I want to kill myself. I want to die. I want to die. I want to die. It's fine. To be fine. Sheila is pregnant. To be fine. Yeah, Sheila is pregnant. Sheila is pregnant. This is painful. Who could have done this to a little baby? Why her? Only God knows. Even the police has no lead to the perpetrators. <sighs> Sweetheart, what are we going to do? I don't know. Honestly, I don't know. Sheila cannot be a mother at this age. And it's such a situation. God. God, why? <laughs> Are you testing us? Are you God? Anna, let us not question God. Hmm? As will be seen, blasphemy. If it is God's will, then who are we? Of course it is not God's will. God can never destine our daughter to carry a child of a rapist. The child of the unknown man who raped her. No. But it is still her child. Yes. What? Honey, let us not be tempted. Abortion is murder. 
Let us not do things as if we are tempting God. Abortion uh, is one of the worst sins that God does not like. It is only God that gives and He alone takes. It's okay. It's okay. Why, my baby? Why? Why is she? God is going to bring them out. They will face the punishment. They can never go scot free. Unless the God I serve is not alive. Mom, why? Why do I have to carry this baby? Why does my life have to end up like this? <laughs> Sweetheart, I don't know. Maybe it's God's will. God's will, Mom? God's will? Why did he not kill me instead? Is God trying to punish me? <laughs> no, baby. Our God is a loving God. He doesn't punish his children. He doesn't. There is nothing loving about you, God. Nothing. Don't say that, Sheila. Remember you are a child of God. You are a Christian. Irrespective of what happened, you are not supposed to add such an abominable thought towards an innocent child. This is not an innocent child, Dad. This is not the result of rape, an atrocity. And God knew that people put on this thing inside of me, Dad. Sheila. No, please. You were not the one that was raped. <laughs> and I thought you loved me, Dad. I still do. Jenny, if you love me, please, I beg you. I beg you, Dad, please. Sheila, dear, I want you to know that God knows what you're passing through. And nothing ever happens without his knowing. Most of these things are temptations for his edification. Remember the story of Shadrach, Meshach, and Abednego in the Bible. God allowed them to be thrown into the pit of fire because he wants to make them great. Sometimes God allows us to pass through certain situations so that his glory may be manifested. When God allows us to pass through trials, he does it simply because he wants to make us great. Sheila, you are a great child of God. And God loves you so much. Remember that. It's okay. Lie properly, please. Let's cover you. Sheila! What, what, what are you doing? 
it's a doll. Have you lost it? Sweetheart! I cannot live like this. I cannot Sweetheart! I cannot have this child knowing what it is. I cannot. I beg you. Yes, no. no. Please. What's going on? No. My daughter tried to drink this. What? What? Why are you both doing this to me? Why are you doing this to me? Why? Why are you very so selfish and insensitive? I am the one carrying this body, not you. Why will you not let me do what I want for myself? My mates, my mates are in school studying, and you want me to be a single mother of a child begotten from rape? What is wrong with you both? What do you even want me to tell this child, mom? Tell me what do you want me to tell this child? That a father is, is, is a criminal that, that raped me? What? <laughs> Calm down. Don't touch me. Calm down. Don't touch me. Don't touch me. Don't touch me. Go ahead. Don't touch me. Stop. There is no need for all that now. We do love you and we care about you. And to tell you that we share your body, we have decided to move away from here. Yes, we have applied for the transfer <laughs> to a faraway place from here. <laughs> yes. oh, no. We realize you need it. <laughs> no. You need a change of environment. You can have new friends and have a fresh beginning. <laughs> it's okay. <laughs> My life has come to an end. No, I do no, not no, have no, a reason no, to no. leave. I do not have a reason to leave. Shai, stop. I do not you have, don't a have a reason to leave. leave. No. You have a reason to leave. I can leave you to die. Mommy is here. See, we are going far away to Abuja. <laughs> Though we're going to be far from your sister. I pray that the good God we serve will gift her with the fruit of the womb she's crying so much to have. Shai. Meanwhile, instead of you trying to kill this baby or yourself, why don't you get the child and gift it to your sister? I heard their How voices in my room. Please. But you have to promise so to keep the identity see. of the child or the situation surrounding his death. Yes. I'm sorry. Please look. I don't know what came over me today. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Look, I am really happy he's with you. You take very good care of him. I'm sorry. I don't know what came over me today. I was just... He is my son, Shai. And it is my duty to take good care of him. I know. Look, Shai. I'm sorry for raising my voice at you. You know, I am very grateful for the sacrifices you've made. And I know it's not easy saying him and knowing. Look, I'm scared. I'm scared of losing him. I love him so much I cannot afford to lose him. I can't. I know. I know that. It's a good thing you're getting married tomorrow. Are you going to have your son, right? Are you going to forget about it?
Because if back then with school, Homestead's fraternity wanted you and they would do anything to get you. That was when I came in. So you were working for them? I wasn't. I promise I wasn't. He and his gang members wanted you and you know they would do anything to get you. That was when they came to me and they bullied me. They, they sexually harassed me came to my hostel, assaulted me severally. They even raped me. Baby, you ain't ready yet. Ready to go where? Zara, how are you? I'm fine. Can we go now? I don't want to go anywhere, okay? I just want to stay in a sleep. I'm tired. Tuzi, come on. This is a big party for big boys in campus. It's a private party with an exclusive invite. My friends are waiting. Let's go. That's fine. If you want to go with your friends, it's okay. You can take the car, right, and then go. You must go. Go with What sort of nonsense is this? How did I end up with such a numpy pandy? Well, anyways, I'm going. Nothing's going to stop me. You can keep lying down in this your cocoon forever. for refusing to follow my instructions, flaunting my orders. This will serve as a deterrent to you. So next time, your cognitive domain will be accurate. I couldn't convince you they were going to kill me. I see. I didn't have an option than to convince you else they were going to kill me. Brothers, 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 today we welcome one of our own into this great family, into this great brotherhood, brothers. Brothers! Brothers! Bongo dongo me, ay ay, bongo dongo, bongo dongo me, ay ay, bongo dongo. 
Point one. Do your job. You don't enter. Come on. Very office. My love. So tell me, how are you? How's your decision go? Zara, I think you should be asking me. How am I doing first? Baby, I can see you're fine. And don't worry, I already know what I told you to bring to see your membership. I'll take care of it. I'll provide a candidate for you. Please, don't do anything. All right, what I've already done is finished enough and I don't want to do anything about it. Just forget it, all right? Stop it, don't do anything. <sighs> your life was threatened and you did not report them to the school's court anti-disciplinary council? Really? Susie, you're still naive after all this time. Look, most of the anti-court members belong to different court groups. Even in the SUG, they're everywhere. <sighs> okay, so what has that got to do with Sheila? Because I know you and her mom used to go to her father's church. You definitely knew who she was. Dozier. Yeah. Who, who were you looking at? Was I looking at someone? You sure were looking at that girl while I was talking? Oh, oh, I just thought she's someone I know. No, you don't know her. No, of course I don't know her. I, I just thought I knew her. Can we go? Have a seat. Is what All right, then. Say it. I don't know. Excuse me, are you blind? Sorry, it was a mistake. Well, don't come close to me next time. I wasn't coming close to you, I was just... Good afternoon, Mrs. Morris. Good afternoon, ma. This is Jacob. <laughs> it has been a while. Very, very. How have you been? Been away for a while. Oh, but thank God for your help during the divorce. If not, I don't know what I would have done without you. <laughs> thank you for your constant encouragement. That is thank why you. we are sisters in the Lord. To encourage one another and fellowship with one another. Thank you. I hope you're doing all right. I'm fine. <laughs> this is my daughter, Zara. She came to spend the weekend with me. Oh. I see that Sheila is a grown-up girl now. Yes. Wow. <laughs> Zara, I remembered her. You gave birth to her two years after I delivered exactly. my baby, exactly. Sheila. Right? Yes. She's grown into a beautiful woman. So, Zara, how are you? <laughs> what of the other lady? Not seen her before. Good afternoon, my dear. Victoria, that's Sheila's roommate in school. Wow. Yes. That's very they nice. They came for the weekend. Decent girls. <laughs> we'll be on our way. It's all right. My regards to Vicky and the husband. No problem. They're working Thank here. Thank you. All right, love. Zara, goodbye. <laughs> oh, pretty. <laughs> Mrs. Jacobs is a very nice woman. She really helped me during the divorce with your dad. Look at her daughter. They dress so decently. Ha! Huh. Your dad has spoiled you, naughty girl. Mm, please, can we just change the topic already? If you like them that much, why not make them your daughters? 
Don't talk to me in that manner, young lady. I'm only trying to advise you. Look, I accept. It was personal. Yeah, it was personal and I regret it every day of my life until today. Especially when I learned she was devastated after the incident. What did you want her to do? That was expected, wasn't it? Look, Dozy, I'm sorry, okay? I was bitter. I was envious. I was jealous. She, I envied her innocence. I envied how my mom would always talk about her. How my mom wants me to be like her. I envied her family. Everything. I was just mad at the world and at myself. Even the other day, I saw you looking at her in school. Look, Dozy, you're the only real thing I've had. But Sheila, Sheila had everything. And I envied her because she was going to have you too. I sensed it. I saw it coming. I couldn't take it. Look, Dozy, I've tried to make amends. I've tried. I even became her best friend. But, but the cute just, just can't leave. So what do you want me to do? What do you want me to do? What do you want me to do? Look, Dozy, if you decide to tell her, I'll understand. You need to marry her, Dozy. You're the only real happiness she has known. Such an irony. The, oh my word. the food is wonderful. Oh, please, you that don't. After so many years, she still don't know how to cook. Oh, Mom, that is so unfair. But this particular one is sweet. It's not. She should go for cooking lesson. And look who we have here. <laughs> right on time, hmm? Ma, good evening. Dad, good evening. Uh, my apologies. I'm so sorry I couldn't make it for the dinner. Mm -hmm. We know. So I explained that to Sheila. Mom. What? Give him some slack, please. You don't even know what happened. Yes, Vicky is right. You're welcome, my son. Thank you, Dad. How are you? I'm doing fine, thank you. Please have your seat. Um, thank you, but this is a quick one. Um, Sheila, can I have a word with you privately, please? Real quick. I'm sorry, I'm busy. Come on, Shai. Talk to him, please. Please. Sorry for not showing up for dinner, okay? Something happened. Listen, I do not care that you are sorry, okay? Just say whatever you have to say and leave. There is something I need to tell you, but you're making it difficult. I'm not sure where to start. Are you having a change of mind? Are you calling off the wedding? No. No, not really. It's just that Not I... really. Wow. I cannot believe this. Not really is not good enough. You hear me? You need to be sure that you want to marry me in order for this to work. You're just making it difficult for me to tell you. Now let me make it easier for you. I do not want to hear what you have to say. You know what? You're the first man I have ever loved. I love you so much and I want to spend the rest of my life with you. I cannot even imagine my life without you. 
Now you think about that. Shiva. Sheila. Hello, girls. Girl, please, uh, can you excuse us? I want to have a word with my daughter. you and that it cares about you good I've been observing you've been so stressed out and moody so I decided to come so that we can have a lot and further discussion adventure you can let me into the secret into what is the cause of your worries do I do I talk to you as my father or my pastor I will always be your father my dear girl I am confused, Daddy. I'm what? I don't know what's happening to Dozier. He's, he's having a cold feet, and I'm beginning to think if we made the wrong decision to get married. Do you really love him? Yes. Does he love you too? Very much, Dad. Have you also considered his flaws and found out if you can live with them? Mm. He's a good man. Know it now that not every good man makes a good husband. Did you pray about it? Dad, I am more than certain that Dossier is the one for me. It's okay. Now, let me talk to you as your pastor. What is your Christian life like? Sad, you know I go to church whenever I can, and I pray sometimes. At this point, that will not be enough. This is the time you have to pray without season. This is the time you have to commit your entire life to God. Because this wedding will attract the attention of the adversary who will want to sow a seed of discord and confusion in your life and that of your partner. So you have to commit your entire life and that of your partner to him and make him the third God in your marriage. You see, some of these things will take life are really deep in the spiritual realm. This is a spiritual warfare and you don't have to give the devil the slightest chance of winning. Do you get where I'm coming from? Yeah, I, I do understand you, Dad. But as the pastor and patriarch of the household, are you not supposed to intercede for us? That's why we have you, Dad. <sighs> Once, at a certain stage in your life, you were very zealous for the things of God. Very committed 
to the things of God. But of late, I don't know what is happening. What went wrong? Dad, you know what went wrong. And I'm fine where I stand. <sighs> Excuse me. I will always pray for you, Sheila, my dear. Do that, Dad. Hope you're ready, man. Definitely ready. <laughs> I mean, besides the point we've got into right now, there is no turning back, is there? Wow. I've decided to marry Sheila, and we are getting married. So be it then. <laughs> hey, Dre. Yeah. Do me a favor, please. Okay. Can you let Sheila have this note before the ceremony, please? I'll find a way and give it to her. Please. Sure. Yes, of course I am ready. <laughs> Where's Zara? Oh, she was just here. Zara. Zara. Shy, I came to check on you and here you are looking all pretty, my sweetheart. Thank you, Mom. Don't get me emotional. Oh. <laughs> For me? Loving you is the greatest gift I have ever received. I want to spend the rest of my life with you. I have never been sure of anything. I love you, Shy, from Dozy. Aww. Baby, <laughs> that was so sweet. I know. Aww. <laughs> yes, Daddy. Your husband is hopelessly romantic, just like me. I know. <laughs> now, I want you all to give me a minute with this angle. Um, mm -hmm. I need okay. to check on the doors upstairs. Oh, okay. I'll look for Zara, okay? Please, all right. Please, all right. You check for Zara. I will. Zara! <laughs> God, where would this girl be? Zara! <laughs> Zara! Oh my God. Hey! Hey, 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 what's up? Come on. Why are you here crying? <laughs> Look, I, I'm sorry, I can't. I can't do this. <laughs> uh, you can't do what? Zara, come on, it's Sheila's wedding in two minutes. I will have to be there to cheer her on. Sarah, please. I don't deserve it. I don't deserve it. I can't, I can't do this. Okay, this is crazy right now. This is really crazy. See, if it's about you and Lucy, she doesn't need to know at all. It's all in the past, right? Look, Toria, no, it, it's not. <laughs> it's not. Hold on. Zara, don't tell me you've been sleeping with Dozy. It's worse than that. Doria, it's worse than that. I'm a horrible human. Look, I, I can't do this. I can't. I can't do this. Zara. Zara, what did you do? What did you do? Dad, 
being said. I love you very much, Sheila. You look exquisite as an angel. I think that man is lucky. Very, very lucky. I love you too, Dad. You are the best dad in the whole world. Ready to walk down the house. Yes. Let's do this. <laughs> oh. Excuse me, sir. She I need to talk to you. What? Excuse me, young lady. Can't that wait? I'm sorry, sir. Dad, it's okay. But story, alright? <laughs> just wait for me outside. Mm -hmm. I'll join you soon. Just, just wait out for me. I'm coming now. Sure. It's better watch it. Sheila, I don't think you need to walk down that aisle. What? Daddy. It's time to march in. But I didn't see Zara or Pitora anywhere. What's going on? I don't understand, so Pitora just walked past as if someone is on her tail. Okay. Oh, really? I need to go find out what is happening right now. Okay. Hey, ladies. You need to match him now. Where is the bride? Well, she's inside the suit with my dad. Sorry. But we are not yet complete, yeah. right? Yeah. yeah. Sorry, you need to match him now. Others will join you later. Our time is almost up. Cheers. Okay, uh, we need to go while Pritara and Zara joins us later, okay? Yeah. Okay, okay, so let's, let's go. go. Shai? Sheila? Sheila, are you okay? Shai, please Sheila. say something. Young lady, what's going on here? What did you say to my daughter? Talk! That Josie is a rapist. Excuse me? He was a young man that raped Sheila eight years ago. Zara just confessed it. Zara? How? Sheila, where are you going? Sheila. Sheila. Hey, hey, Sheila. Sheila, where are you going to? Come on, come on, let's go. What's wrong? You're asking me what the problem is. You ruined my life. Let me be. You ruined my life. You ruined my life. I'm sorry. Was it you? Oh, it was you. It was you. It was you. Leave me alone. It was you. You ruined my life. I will make you pay for every pain you have put me through. I promise you. Where is my phone? I will make sure I get you arrested! Stupid! My phone! to thank you but um, duty calls we'll be leaving by Saturday to Abuja we have left church for a long time we wish we could have stayed much longer To ask you, Sheila, girl, will you be all right? Sure, 
I'm fine, mom. I'm fine, really. I'm resuming work next week. Okay, I, I think we should discuss about Dozi and you. What do you think? Yes, Sheila. Now that we know that he was coerced, and that he's not that kind of person, I am of the opinion that um, you forgive him. What? And take him back. No! I'm, I'm sorry, but no. My daughter cannot marry a rapist. Once a rapist, always a rapist. So she's not settling with a rapist. Well said, ma. Nice words of wisdom. Now that I feel stronger, I will see my lawyer soon, Dad. So we can proceed with the prosecutions. Then what about Zara and her complex? Well, Zara has suddenly gone missing, but I'm sure she sees all of my text messages. Um, meanwhile, I think it's traumatizing that your best friend would do such a thing. And I insist that she last sees a therapist. Zara was not even my best friend then. And again, Toria, I do not need a therapist. Mom, tell her I'm fine. You sure? Yeah. <clears throat> well, she's fine. It's okay. Um, I'll continue to pray for you, my child. to be worried. Now that his real father has been revealed, you worry that they may come for him? Yes, Toria. Yes. You know, I cannot afford to lose him. I've built my whole world around him. It's fine, babe. It's fine. Come on, you, we don't have to be forward right now. I'm sure when we come to that road, we'll know how to cross it. Okay? I'm sure about this. Calm down. Thank you. Hey girl, what's up? What's the latest? <clears throat> Sheila. Sheila. What are you doing here? What? I live here, remember? Oh, yeah, right. Uh, I mean, um, where have you been? Well, baby girl, I went to get grocery. Okay. And then I got you this outfit. Sheila, it's been one week. Why don't we talk about it? Talk about what? About him. I mean, when are you going to see him? He's been asking after you. At least, get an explanation. Are you out of your mind, Doria? I would rather he rot in hell than go near him again. But you love him, Shai. I know you do. At least, talk to him and... At least to get closure. Yeah, closure, of course. I will sure have a closure with him after him and his gang of rapists hang. How cruel, Sheila. I've never 
never known you to be like this. I mean, how is it possible that one can easily replace love with such rancor? You know, I have been wanting to ask you. Are you not supposed to have gone back to the States? I thought you had just one week off. Look, Sheila, don't do this. Don't do it. Do what? Push me away like you've done everyone else, including your family. Look, I'm going to stay here until we've sorted things out. And you know, there's something I will not take, and that is you trying to make me look like your patient. I do not need a therapy story. I am mentally fine, okay? Sheila, I know. Look, I'm not asking you to forgive him. And God forbid I ask you to take him back. Never. But at least you need to get an explanation for this. I do not need an explanation. So how was she? I don't know her anymore. It's all my fault, you know. I, I turned her into this bitter woman. You see, Dozier, this is a very serious issue. Especially now that the news is all over the social media. And people are beginning to complain. Some are saying that she's gone mental. Others are contemplating that maybe she caught you with a woman cheating on her. Does that mean the public is not aware of the case? No, 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 no. The police just signed oath of secrecy. And the family also refused to talk to the press. Though the police is still on the trail of the guys. Everything is just my fault. I caused all of this. Come on, stop that, does he? You didn't mean to. Did you? So what is going to happen now? What's my fate? Your parents and I met with Sheila's parents and her lawyer. And they've accepted to settle this out of court as a family. But... You know, Sheila refused, right? Yeah. I thought so. She wanted to be tried and prosecuted. Well, let's go to court then. I mean, I'm just tired of all of this. Let's go to court. I need to pay for my sins. And... God knows that's the only way I can really have a true second chance. So what's up with Zara and the rest? Any news? No news about Zara yet. But the police have been able to arrest the hamster. You can't believe he's now a pastor in one of the new generation of churches. Wow. Yes. Seriously? Exactly. The issue is that our sins must catch up with us one day. Sheila, dear, Pretoria suspects you are pregnant. Is that true? Pretoria should learn how to mind her business. And so should you too. Sheila. You don't talk to your parents in such a rude manner. You don't? Or what? Excuse me? Or what, mom? You will condemn me with your holy fury? Or maybe force me to have the child and give it out again? Sheila, I take it easy. I understand you are hot. And you've been betrayed. But remember, the daughter of whom you are, you are a conqueror. Save me this motivational speech, Dad. I don't even understand why you both are here. I made it clear that I do not want to see anyone. Don't you understand? There is no way you will say that and it will happen. You are our daughter. We love you and we care about you. Huh? Your pain is our pain. <laughs> Get that. <laughs> really? Then do you feel the pain to stab the son of a bitch in his heart? Rip it off and feed it to the dogs. Do you? What have you become? Monster. A monster, mom. And now if you both are done preaching your forgiveness, Samuel, can you please go back to your home and your hypocritic God? 
Jesus! What a she actually people. I fear the pregnancy has made it worse. It's as if she's reliving the past all over again. Pregnant? Oh God, what have I done? Yes, Dozy. What have you done? Now she might be forced to either terminate the pregnancy or give it away or worse still, raise it all on her own. What do you mean again? What do you mean again? Well, I'm sorry. If nobody has said anything to you, then it is not in my place to say anything. Wait, hold on, hold on. What are you talking about? Are you saying Sheila has had a child before? Like I said, Dozy, you need to find a way to talk to her before things get out of hand. Yeah. She hates me. She hates me. I know. But she needs to face that hatred or she will not be able to heal. Look, I'll talk to Dre. I'm sure he will find a way to get you out. Okay, please. Sometimes in the night, the voices I hear, they scare me. Don't tell me sorry if you can uh, hear Sheila, me. this is uh, a concentrate form. So we have to fill it up before we can proceed with the abortion. Uh, Sheila, to be very honest, I have to be dense with you. Um, are you sure you've made up your mind about this? You know, this is actually perilous. I was thinking if we could um, run a scan so we could see the baby first. Then anything you decide is good. Um, doctor, I'm sorry to stress you, but I need to go home and think. I want to go and think if I really want this. Well, take your time. I want to know the will of God in my life. Prayed many times for the pain to go away. Sometimes in the night, the voices I hear. Are you doing conspiring with my enemies? <laughs> Funny. Your parents are not your enemies. And I am done trying to convince you otherwise. So if you think the world is out to get you, by all means, sit down and wallow in self-pity. We have other matters to attend to. What are you talking about? Someone is here to see you. Another therapist. I do not want to see anyone. Believe me, Sheila, you need to see this one. What? Toby, how dare you bring this, bring him here? I am sorry. It's been long. You have to talk to him at some point, please. I do not want to talk to anyone. What is wrong with you? Have you gone nuts? Talk to him before you destroy yourself. Please. Toby, what do you think you're doing? What is wrong with you? Come, come, come. Don't. Don't. Don't come close to me. Don't come close. Don't come close to me. Sheila, I, I was forced. I was forced to do it. Does it don't be afraid, all right? It's not like these girls are virgins or something. And meanwhile, you won't even get to see the face of the victim. Swear it off. Does it, you're not going to be a rape case. I mean, it's going to be one of these ones girls in school. They're already used to it, so come on. Please, please, I beg you, I beg you, please don't kill me. I beg you, I've not done anything wrong. Please, I beg you. 
those men. It is time to show us that you're a man. Begging you, please. Please, I beg you, don't kill me. I beg you, Quiet. don't kill me. Oh, God. Mommy. This is the test of a real man. Come and do it. Come and do it! Please, 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 I'm a pastor's daughter. Who does it? Come and do it! Come and do it! Take this. What? It is time to waste her. Take it! Carry this to waiting the worry this guy says. No. Nobody told me about this. No, no, nobody told me about killing anyone. I said take it! Nobody, nobody told me about killing anyone. I am not doing it. I can't, I cannot do it! No, I can't. It is time to kill her. That's the ultimate task. That, that, that wasn't part of the plan. It wasn't part of the plan to kill anyone. Are you still insisting? It wasn't part of the plan! The time is now! Those man, buy this baby! Or you will be by tonight. Then kill me. You kill me. Kill me because I'm not killing anyone. I'm not killing anybody. Kill me then. I'm not gonna kill anybody here. Where was my? This guy don't pay me. What? Boss. Let's leave here. Hey! I wanted to please Zara at the end of the day, and that's why I did it. I won't do anything to hurt you intentionally. You know that. Was it also your plan with Zara to come into my life again and make it miserable? No, no, no. Don't! Don't, don't come close to me. Don't try it. The second time I met you, I had no idea that you were the same person on campus. I didn't know that. Besides, your face was covered the entire time. But by the time Zara told me, I was already here. I couldn't afford to lose you. Sorry. Can you watch where you're going to? I am so... I'm terribly sorry about that. Yeah, yeah, my fine, fault, my, fine, my fault. Fine. I hope you're not hurt. No, I'm good. You okay? Yeah, I'm fine. Oh, nice to meet you. I'm actually rushing to the bookshop before it closes.
Uh, you see one thing? In the way red. No, no. Oh, light, light skin. Fair. No, I don't see anybody. Try. Serve your forgiveness. I don't. I just regret that I am the reason for all this rancor. I am so sorry. Then you never knew me from the beginning. Get lost. Get lost. Sheila, I said get lost. Leave. Sheila. Leave my house. Can you it's not okay. Me? I know you're angry. Leave. Yes, you can hit me. Leave my house. Okay, you can stop me. Leave my house. Me and leave my and house. <laughs> Pardon yeah. me, I'm so sorry. Leave my house, can you not okay. I know you're angry. Can you hear the noise inside? No, 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 Jane, no. Oh, well, Leave then. My house. See, she needs to face her feelings. What if she hurts him or even stab him? Then so be it. What? They need to deal with it. Alone. Is that right? Yes, sir. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. just surfaced. You don't mean it. You mean she finally replied your message? Yes. And she wants to meet. What? Meet? I hope you know what that means. Yes, I do. And, and she does too. You know what? I'll go run at the police. And not with Diwa. Maybe you go with the one day. Do you want me to drive you? No, no, no. Just keep an eye on them. And forget what I said. Make sure she doesn't hurt him. Then go with the policeman. Okay. Okay. Be careful. I will. It seems really right to allow them be. Yes, sir. You mean we shouldn't interfere? Tosie, I cannot promise you instant forgiveness. But one thing I know is, if I do not forgive you, I will keep hurting myself. And I will always be bitter towards this baby. I promise you. I will do everything I can to prove myself to you again. And, and the baby, I'm so happy for our baby. I hope you're going to keep it. Yes. Yes, I'll keep it. This one, unlike Kyle, will be born out of love. Hopefully, when you are out, you can spend time with your child. And please, I do not want to disrupt their family. I want Vicky to continue to remain Kyle's mother. That's promise okay. me that. I promise. I, I promise I'm not going to say anything. I promise. I'll see you in court. Yeah. Hopefully you get to serve minimal J time and come back to be with your child. Who knows? <sighs> yeah, who knows? Listen, I just want you to know that I love you very much and I'm so sorry. I'm so sorry for everything. And I love you very much. And while I'm in there, I'm gonna think about you and I can't wait till I get back. I just want you to know that 
I love you very much. And I'm so sorry. And, and whilst I'm in there, I'm going to think about you. And out there, I can't wait to come back. I love you so much. I'm sorry. Mm. I know. Please tell her that I'm so sorry. I will, Zara. Baby girl, you are a good person. A best one who has made a lot of mistakes. But you were there for her when she needed a new start. That's because I was the reason she needed a new start to begin with, Toria. Yes, but you were there at last. Okay, Zara. Look. This is who you are now, not the Zara of eight years ago. Thank you very much for your kind words. I feel it to appreciate it. Thank you. Thank you, Zara. Look, we'll both be waiting for you. I'm sure she will forgive you eventually because our lives will both be meaningless without you. You're such a nice friend. And I'm so happy to have met a sister like you. <laughs> it's fine. Baby girl, it's okay. <laughs> Madam, can we move now? Are you ready? Yeah, I am. <laughs> this way. <laughs> Hey, babe. Hey, boo. You good? I'm good. Ah, Toria, I really want to say thank you so much for all you have done for me. And I will miss you so much when you leave for LA tomorrow. Come on, Shai. You know you'll do the same for me. I know. <laughs> and I'll miss you too, babe. And I'm happy you're back to work and to me your too. life. Me too. <laughs> all right, honey. See you. Right, bye. Um, Sheila. Yes, mm -hmm. honey. Um, you remember today is the day Dozier, Zara, and the rest are convened to the court. Oh, I forgot. Well, are you sure you want to go through with this? What do you mean? Once they are convened, the federal prosecutors will take over. You become their co-plaintiff and you no longer have control over the case. Oh, look, Pretoria, I have a lot going on with me right now. All I can say is, let God's will be done. <laughs> if you're sure, babe. I don't know what I'm sure of, but I'm sure I'm going back to work and that I'm excited about. So, I'm see happy you. For you. <laughs> right, and you don't do. walk yourself to And death. you'll make sure you eat... It was hard, Shai. <laughs> but he's all yours, and you deserve him. <laughs> I was only an angel God used, but through him, God has blessed me. 
Thank you so much, Vic. Thank you so much. What is this last girl? Mom told me everything about you. And I love you. I love you too. Where is my dad? Uh, your dad? Uh, come on. Let's go and get your daddy. Let's go. Sheila, what do you want? Why are you here? I've been a fool. And will be a bigger fool if I let what I didn't have rob me of what I could have with you, King, and our baby. What are you talking about? I want us to be a family. And I want it now. King is waiting for you outside. And you, Zara, God has given me a reason to smile again, so I forgive you. And I'm so, so sorry I almost cost you this. What, what about the court proceedings, comeuppance, the retribution, all of that? Well, if the victim is willing to retract her statements, Maybe we don't need to go to trial. Yes, as you can see, this is a family matter. <laughs> oh my God. Oh no. She didn't say that. As a matter of fact, she did. <laughs> she said it. She said it runs in the family. <laughs> Look, Mom, I was just trying to convince the lawyer because it looks like he was going to run me towards like a bull. <laughs> this girl. It's all for good anyway. Mm. Yes, I think so. Let's say she takes up to me. Mm. Mm. Not, not me. <laughs> no, no. You know me too well. No, she's that <laughs> yeah. She's that girl. <laughs>